सो ए वेरी गुड आफ्टरनून टू ऑल ऑफ यू सो दिस इज सेशन नंबर थर्टीन सो टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू सी दैट लॉसलेस ट्रांसमिशन लाइन एंड बिफोर वी आर गोइंग टू सी टूडेज टॉपिक फर्स्ट हैव ए क्यू क्रिक हार्ट बी हैव स्टडी इन द लास्ट टू सेशन सो वी हैव स्टडी द करेक्टरसिस ऑफ ट्रांसमिशन लाइन सो बेसिकली वी ऑल नो दैट ए ट्रांसमिशन लाइन इज करेक्टराइज बाई फोर पैरामीटर्स रेसिस्टेंस इंडक्टेंस कैपेसिटेंस एंड कंडक्टेंस so mainly we have seen the calculation of inductance and capacitance that is very very important for the study of transmission line and then we have seen the model of transmission line after knowing this how to find this inductance and capacitance of transmission line we are we have seen the modeling of transmission line and there we have seen the uh, like short transmission line medium transmission line and long transmission line so basically it is divided into three types of transmission line and we have seen we have also seen that short transmission line and medium transmission line are considered as a lumped parameter and where in the long transmission line we have considered the distributed parameter and we have find the abcd parameters for short transmission line we have neglected this shunt admittance part while in this medium transmission line we have considered the shunt admittance part that is connected half uh, half at the both end of line in the nominal pi in the nominal pi model whereas in this long transmission line we have considered this distributed parameter and we have found this abcd parameter and then we have found this equivalent pi model for long transmission line also that is just similar to medium transmission line so today we are going to see the lossless transmission line so basically we all know that a distribution line generally these are resistive in nature so distribution line are resistive in nature basically and this long transmission line are more inductive in nature so we can may consider this long transmission line as lossless if this r is value is very very low or this uh, shunt conductance part is low so so we have seen in the last part last class that what is the characteristic impedance so characteristic impedance is denoted by under root of series impedance and divided by shunt admittance and so here we have write this z and y as r plus g omega l plus g plus g omega c so uh, for the bundle conductors this zc has lower value due to lower l line higher c values and this propagation constant gamma we denote as alpha plus j beta and it is under root of series impedance and shunt admittance and we can write this equation as it is and here this alpha is known as attenuation constant and beta is known as the phase constant and its unit is radian per unit length now if you consider this lossless transmission line that means this series resistance and shunt conductance part we have considered it as zero so for a lossless line this characteristic impedance is known as the surge impedance if we put this r and zero then you will get zc is equal to under root of lc this is very very important this surge impedance inductance per unit length of transmission line divided by the capacitance per unit length and the we are taking the it as whole now if we see the propagation constant for lossless transmission line then putting all the, uh, putting r is equal to 0 and conductance is equal to 0 we get g omega root under lc so this is these are for lossless transmission line lossless transmission line 
so here we can see that in lossless in lossless transmission line this alpha part is zero so attenuation constant is zero so there is no attenuation in the lossless transmission line while this beta part is non zero so we can write the propagation constant in the terms of the phase constant so write directly we will get gamma is equal to j beta here j is missing j omega under root lc as we have seen in the last session that abcd parameter of a lossy transmission line is written like this cos h gamma l zc sin h gamma l 1 divided by zc sin h gamma l cos h gamma l now if you want to put the write the abcd parameter of a lossless transmission line then in the place of gamma you have to place j beta here this is so you have to place this gamma value as j beta So on putting this value you will get this expression so this is also very very important cos h j beta l will be cos beta l and sin h j beta l here this j will come out in sin so j sin beta l while this j will be eliminated in cos h term hyperbolic cos h term this j will be eliminated so you will write this abcd parameters for lossless transmission line now if a line is terminated by the characteristic impedance then you can write vr is equal to ir zc and for lossless transmission line we have seen this surge impedance that is purely resistive in nature so this is also important zc is equal to under root lc is purely resistive because no imaginary part comes here and this load corresponding to surge impedance saturated voltage nodes are known as the surge impedance loading so this is surge impedance loading and we can write surge impedance loading as 3 vr i r square so 3 vr square divided by zc where vr we have taken as phase voltage now if you want to write this receiving in voltage in terms of line voltage then vr is equal to vl divided by root 3 then sign surge impedance load, loading in megawatt we can write kvl square rated divided by zc in megawatt so we will use mainly this expression because they generally this long transmission line having rating value of in the kilo volt range and since zc has no reactive component so there is no reactive power in the line that is qs is equal to qr and both are equal to zero so this shows that uh, if we are doing the surge impedance loading then the reactive losses in the line inductance are exactly opposite by the reactive power supplied by the sunt capacitance so whatever the reactive reactive losses or reactive power demand by the inductance part in the line that is compensated by the reactive power supplying by the sunt capacitance so this is also important question this is also important point for the surge impedance loading and from here you can also prove that how the surge impedance uh, impedance comes in lossless transmission line so basically if we see this reactive power supplied by the reactive power supplied by the reactive power demand by the inductance part in the line and this reactive power supplied by the sun capacitance part both are equal both are uh, cancelling each other so here this we can see this l and c omega will get cancelled out and vr is equal to ir comes here so zc is equal to vr divided by ir is equal to root lc so this also verifies this expression that we have seen earlier now the question comes here is the what is the physical significance of surge impedance so this is very very important that what is physical significance so if a line is loaded by surge impedance then we get the flat voltage profile 
like whatever the voltage at the sending end then the same voltage we are getting at the receiving end and we visually measure this loading of line in the terms of surge impedance suppose like this loading of line is done greater than surge impedance loading then this vr magnitude will be less than vs magnitude and if surge impedance loading is equal to the at the receiving end then vr is equal to vs that means uh, voltage profile is maintained and is if loading is done below the surge impedance loading then vr will be greater than vs so here we can see that for no load the curve tends greater than this vs point so this is vs point so at the no load it is tending to increase and this is the receiving it and for full load it is going to decrease that is like we have taken this loading at this uh, loading at the receiving end more than the surge impedance loading so this voltage at the receiving end will be lower than the lower than the sending end and here we need to require here if this is more than the if receiving end voltage less than vs voltage then visually do the shunt capacitance we have to do the capacitive comp compensation so this will see in the one of the question so here there is no need to write we have to do the capacitive compensation or where we have to do the inductive capacitance inductive compensation now let us see this uh, series and shunt compensation so if we are having this degree of series compensation as like this the amount of series compensation with respect to inductance part so this formula comes here so they, we will see the question based on this series compensation and shunt compensation and this is for shunt compens compensation so the difference is in the here this both in sun comes it comes to upward and positive sign comes where in this series composition it is divided with the previous value and negative term in the inside this under root part so keep this in mind now we are going to solve the problems so the first problem it is from gate 2008 and it is of two marks so here we have been given with this a lossless transmission line having surge impedance loading of 2280 megawatt is provided with informally distributed series capacitive compensation of 30% then series impedance loading of the compensated transmission line will be so the previous value of surge impedance loading is given as 2280 megawatt and then series capacitive compensation that we have seen a gamma is is given as 0.3 so here then we have to find this a sign of compensated transmission line so just we will apply the expression that we have seen series impedance loading divided by 1 minus gamma ac so it is 2280 divided by 1 
under root of 1 minus 0 0.3 so it will come as 2725.12 megawatt so the correct answer is C and now coming to the next part so here this a lossless transmission line has a surge impedance of 400 ohm and it is operating at 400 kilo volt the line is compensated with 30 percent of shunt capacitor if a generator is delivering 200 megawatt through the transmission line the load angle of the generator to be maintained is and you have to give the answer in electrical load degrees so we are given with surge impedance so zc is given so ZC is given as 400 ohm and 400 volt is uh, KVL voltage rating is given as 400 KV so first we will find this without compensation part that is surge impedance loading one that is without compensation So here we are we know the expression KVL square divided by ZC in megawatt so this will be 400 square divided by 400 megawatt it will come as 400 megawatt this is the surge impedance loading without compensation now for the shunt capacitance for the shunt compensation series impedance loading will vary as according to this expression 1 plus gamma sh so here put all these values so gamma sh is given by 30 percent that is 0 0.3 so this will be 400 1 plus 0 0.3 that will give you 4456.07 megawatt so in both case if we are see, see, if we look through that compensation increases the shunt impedance loading earlier come in the first problem surge impedance loading was 2280 megawatt while after doing compensation it is increased and in the second problem also this earlier part is 400 megawatt and now it is increased to 456.07 megawatt now in this problem it is given that this electrical loading is given as 200 megawatt so now we can use this expression pe is equal to p max sine delta and we take this uh, p max as sine delta 2 that is series p max is equal to surge impedance loading to that is a uh, surge impedance loading with with compensation with shunt compensation so pe is given as 200 and this p max we are given with 456.07 and we have to find this load angle of generator so from here you will get the delta as sine inverse of 200 divided by 456.07 so it will be coming as 26.01 degree so this is the answer now let us come to the next problem in the in this problem it is asked that 
the inductance and capacitance of a 400 volt 3 phase 50 hertz lossless transmission line are 1.6 milli henry per kilometer per phase and 10 nano farad per kilometer per phase respectively the sending voltage is maintained at 400 kilovolt and to maintain a voltage at 400 kilowatt at the receiving end when the line is delivering 300 megawatt load the send compensation required is so this is really a nice problem and this question is asked in gate 2016 and it is of one mark so what type of compensation we have to do so first we will find this surge impedance loading so that we can compare with this uh, load part so surge impedance ZC first we will find this surge impedance ZC is equal to under root of root LC so it is 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 3 milli Hindi and down is 10 nanofarad 10 into 10 power minus 9 so it will become as 400 ohm so from this surge impedance we will find the surge impedance loading so kpl square divided by zc it is megawatt so 400 volt is the kvl rating and this zc is 400 ohm so basically this will give you 400 megawatt now this we are given with 300 megawatt so as we have seen that power if surge impedance loading is less than whatever the load is connected at the receiving end then we have to do the inductive shunt compensation we have to do the inductive shunt compensation And in this case, if this P is less than surge impedance loading, then what is the voltage magnitude? We will see this VR will be greater than VS. That is also that the thing. So that we, if we want to maintain this voltage equal to the sending in voltage, then we have to do the inductive send compensation such that receiving in voltage equal to the sending in voltage. And if we just oppose it to that, if this loading is greater than surge impedance loading, then voltage drop down here, and this voltage at receiving end will be lesser than sending it voltage. And here we have to do the we have to do the capacitive shunt compensation to maintain the voltage profile. We have to do the capacitive shunt compensation so in this case voltage will lesser than the sending voltage and in that case we have to do the capacitive shunt compensation so here we can see that power is given at 300 megawatt so it is lesser than 400 megawatt and this is surge impedance loading so we have, what we have to do we have to do the inductive composition so b is the correct option and if uh, this loading is equal to surge impedance loading then there is no compensation required now coming to the next problem until here if you have any doubt you can ask me and this is from gate 2017 and it is of one mark gate 2017 and it is of one mark it is from set 2 so the nominal pi circuit of a transmission line is shown in the figure and this impedance is given as 100 at the angle of 80 degree ohm and reactance is given as 33 ohm 
the magnitude of characteristic impedance of transmission line is so here this is reactance is given basically we have seen this in the terms of admittance so it is y y2 so first we will find this y y2 and then we will find this surge impedance characteristic impedance z is given as 100 at the angle of 80 degree ohm and x is given 3300 ohm so let us find this admittance first so by y2 is given as 1 divided by x and from here you will get by is equal to 2 divided by x and 2 divided by x 2 divided 33 ohm so it will be give you guys 6 point 6.06 into 10 to the power into 10 to the power minus 4 moho or Siemens so we know that characteristic impedance is the impedance part divided by this admittance part sent admittance part series impedance divided by sun admittance to the we will take the under root of that so this is given as 100 and by is given as 6.06 into 10 to the power minus 4 and this will be under root of 1 16 lakh 50,000 16 lakh 1 lakh 65,000 so this will be come out as 406.2019 so basically equal to 406.2 ohm so here this this uh, this series in the uh, impedance and sent I sent admittance not given in per kilometer so we have seen this greatest impedance as root of a small z divided by root uh, divided by small y so basically when you multiply it with l value then it will become as total values so z divided by y so we can use this expression also So this is going to be answer 406.2 Now let us see the next problem So the next problem is that for, for a 400 kilometer long transmission line The series impedance is 0, 0.0 plus J 0 0.5 ohm per kilometer And the shunt admittance is 0, 0.0 plus J 5.0 micro Mohu per kilometer the magnitude of series impedance in ohm of the equivalent pi circuit of transmission line is so by seeing this characteristics of line we can say that it is lossless transmission line since r is equal to 0 and g is equal to 0 we can say that this is lossless transmission line we can say that this is lossless transmission line so first we are we have to find this equivalent pi circuit of transmission line so let us find this total series impedance and total shunt admittance so we are given with the per uh, per kilometer values so per kilometer value is 0, 0.0 plus j 0, 0.5 ohm per kilometer from here we can find this total series impedance value a small z into l so if we it will it will come as 0. J 0. 0.5 into 400 so it will be 0 plus j 200 ohm and then 
this a small y value is given as 0 0.0 plus jf 5.0 moho per kilometer micro moho per kilometer so it is in 10 power minus 6 micro moho per kilometer so total sent admittance is given as y is equal to y into l 0 plus j 5 into 10 to the power minus 6 into 400 that will give you as 0 plus j into 2 10 to the power minus 3 Maho. so we have found this total uh, series impedance and sun admittance now we will draw this equivalent pi model of long transmission line pi model of long transmission line So this is like series part and then at the both end of line we are having this center remittance half of the center remittance we can consider so basically this will give us equivalent pi model This one is sending inside Vs and Is. You can also make it as feature and it is by dash divided by 2 and it is Z dash and it is by dash divided by 2 and this is Ir and this is Vr. So for Z dash part, for Z dash part, we have seen that it is equal to z into sin h gamma l divided by gamma l and for pi dash divided by 2 is equal to y by 2 tan h gamma l divided by 2 divided by gamma l divided by 2 so here in this part in this problem it is asked about this magnitude of series impedance only so here you need to find only this z dash part not the sent admittance part so let us find this So for finding this z dash z dash is equal to z sin h gamma l divided by gamma l so we all know that this lossless transmission line this alpha part is 0 we know that gamma is equal to alpha plus j beta and it is under root of z y and if you want to write gamma l then it will be coming as z y how it is coming like this like if you multiply z l into a small y l so both l come outside so it will be z by right so just from here we will get the we will get the z y so gamma l will be gamma l will be under root of we have found this j into 200 and this y we found at 2 into 10 to the power minus 3 so this will give you 
जे टू इन टू पॉइंट थ्री वन सिक्स फाइनली विल गेट गामा एल एच जे पॉइंट जे इन टू पॉइंट सिक्स थ्री टू फोर सो वी विल पुट दिस वैल्यूज सो साइन एच जेड वैल्यू बी नो दिस जेड वैल्यू इज जे टू हंड्रेड टू हंड्रेड इंटू साइन एच गामा एल इज जे जीरो पॉइंट सिक्स थ्री टू फोर एंड अगेन जे डिवाइडेड बाई गामा एल जीरो पॉइंट सिक्स थ्री टू फोर सो बी बी आल्सो नो दैट साइन ऑफ एच If j x come, then it will come outside साइन j साइन x. So we are we use this relation here. So j will come out outside this hyperbolic साइन function to make it simple साइन function. So this one j dash will be j two hundred into j साइन point six थ्री टू फोर एंड डिवाइडेड बाई जे पॉइंट सिक्स थ्री टू फोर सो दिस साइन वैल्यू इज इन रेडियन सो वेन आर यू पुटिंग इन कैलकुलेटर जस्ट बी अवेयर ऑफ दिस थिंग इट इज नॉट इन डिग्री सो यू हैव टू कन्वर्ट यूर कैलकुलेटर इन रेडियन फॉर्म नाउ जेड डैश विल बी जे टू हंड्रेड इंटू पॉइंट फाइव नाइन जे विल गेट कैंसल्ड आउट जे पॉइंट सिक्स थ्री टू फोर दिस विल गिव यू जे वन हंड्रेड एटी सिक्स पॉइंट नाइन थ्री थ्री सो इट इज इक्वलेंटली इक्वल टू जे वन एट्टी सेवन जे वन हंड्रेड एटी सेवन सो इन दिस प्रॉब्लम इट इज आस्ट अबाउट द मैंग चूड सो वी विल डायरेक्टली राइट वन हंड्रेड एट्टी सेवन इज द आंसर so correct answer is that the magnitude of series impedance in ohm it is 187 ohm and this is asked in gate 2004 gate 2004 this problem is asked in gate 2004 14 sorry 2014 it is of two marks so the correct answer for this problem is 187 ohm now coming to the next problem in the next problem it is asked that at no load condition a three phase 50 hertz lossless transmission line has sending in a and receiving in voltages of 400 kV and 420 kV respectively assuming the velocity of tra traveling wave to be the velocity of light the length of line in kilometer is that so we are given with vs is equal to 400 kilovolt and receiving in voltage at no load so vr no load is given as 420 kv so we all know that vs is equal to a vr plus bir so we all know this this is from the abcd parameters so uh, if this ir is zero if at no load at no load means ir is zero at no load means this current is zero so this equation will become vs is equal to a into vr no load so from from here from here vs is equal to a into vr no load we can find this a value So Vs is given as 400 and A and into 420. So A is coming as 0.952. Now for this preparation of 
this line now for this velocity of traveling wave or velocity of progression we will use this one more expression that is very very important a expression you can write directly for a lossless transmission line 1 minus half divided by omega divided by velocity of traveling wave into l square so this expression we will see how it comes but for just right now we will keep this in mind and this is very shortcut so from here you will put this a value 0.952 and all the values are known 1 minus half omega is 100 pi divided by velocity of traveling wave it is given velocity of light so velocity of light is 3 into 10 to the power 8 meter per second here he is given a 3 into 10 to the power 8 meter per second so put all these value into l square l is the length of transmission line now we, we have to do only calculate simplification l is equal to 0 0.0476 into 2 into 3 into 10 to the power 8 divided by 100 pi and this will give you 229.58 into 10 to the power 4 meter so if you write in kilometer it is asked in kilometer so it will be 29 295 kilometer that will be the answer 295 kilometer the answer and this is asked in gate 2019 this is sorry this is asked in gate 2016 gate 2016 and it is of two marks it is of two marks now coming to the last problem last problem of today's session so here it is given as a 60 a 3 phase 50 hertz 400 kilo volt transmission line is 300 kilometer long the line inductance is 1 milli henry per kilometer per phase and the capacitance is 0 0.01 microfarad per kilometer per phase the line is under open circuit condition at the receiving end and energized with 400 kilo volt at the sending end the receiving end line voltage in the receiving line voltage in kV sorry it is written wrong so it is in kV so for lossless transmission line this velocity of traveling wave first write down this point for lossless transmission line transmission line velocity of velocity of traveling wave velocity of traveling wave is written as 1 divided by under root of lc so from where it is coming so it is coming if you write down this phase constant value we have seen that it is omega under root lc and this line length if you want to write then lambda is equal to 2 pi divided by beta this is line length so it is 2 pi divided by beta so basically don't uh, they no need to write all this you may get confused so this you keep in mind for lossless transmission line velocity of traveling wave will be 1 divided by under root of lc so it is 1 divided by under root lc is 1 into 10 to the power minus 3 0 0.01 into 10 to the power minus 6 and and it is coming in kilometer per second because this is given in per kilometer value so both l and k value per kilometer so under root 
terms come top top then it will come in per kilometer kilometer per second so if you do simplification then it is 316227.76 kilometer per second and velocity is coming as 3.16 into 10 to the power 5 kilometer per second 3.16 into 10 to the power 5 kilometer per second. Now we have seen this A expression. A value we can write directly 1 minus half omega divided by V velocity of tripling wave into L square. So from here we will get this A value. All these values are known. You have to put just value. A is equal to 1 minus half omega is 100 phi and 3.16 into 10 to the power 5 into L square is given as 300 kilometer square. So this is V is and also kilometer square and this is also kilometer square. So both get cancelled out and we are cancelling out this unit that is very important otherwise you will get the wrong a value and a is coming as 0 0.955 and we all know that receiving in voltage if this is at no load it is in open circuit condition that means it is at no load so we have to find this receiving voltage at no load so it is the ratio of vs divided by a so here no load is equal to vs divided by a so it is Vs is equal to 400 divided by A is 0 0.955. So it is coming as 418.85 kilovolt. So this is the final answer. So 418.85 kilovolt. And this is asked in gate 2019. And it is of two marks. So thank you for listening and that's all for today's session and we will meet in the next session. Is there any doubt Anil? Uh, no sir. Thank you for uh, attending this session. Okay. Thank you sir. Bye.